And so this is a very quick video and I want to get straight to the point. No Arnold voiceovers in this one. And I'm not going to look at a range of ideas around, around this subject of high intensity training as I normally would. Because there's one key aspect I want to project to you which you can take away today and think about with your training. And the point of this video is that I believe that the afterburn associated with high intensity training is vastly over exaggerated in the online fitness community. High intensity interval training is something that I do all the time to burn calories, but I also do lower intensity training at times also. When it comes to your programming, it really is down to you, your personal preference and programming in relation to your specific training goals and lifestyle, etc. Lower intensity, more steady state training and high intensity training they're very different. They use different energy systems and they both come with benefits and disadvantages. And of course, you can perform high intensity in many different ways, not just through intervals. You can use different forms of resistance within your training, etc. So high intensity training creates epoch, excess post oxygen consumption or the oxygen debt or the afterburn, these extra calories which you burn through harder, higher intensity training. I'm sure you've all heard about that. Now, what is EPOC? Well, specifically, it relates to the need of the body post-workout to return the processes of the body to a level of homeostasis. Your body likes balance, homeostasis of its processes and mechanisms. And when you train intensely, you're putting these out of whack. And therefore, post-workout, you need to intake more oxygen to help to restore these processes to a level of homeostasis, which essentially involves an additional energy requirement and energy production from the body. And there are various studies looking into EPOC, for example, intensity, where intensity is shown as the determining factor for EPOC, not duration of exercise, also how long EPOC lasts and the actual caloric burn. And I've put a few links down below that you may read. And my last caveat, because I know the other X fans love to go through my videos with a tooth comb. Of course, your EPOC, the calories post-workout will vary according to your specific characteristics, your age, your weight, your body composition, the exact training you undertook. However, here is my point. Post-workout caloric burn from high intensity training is vastly over exaggerated and actually it's somewhere between around 7 to 14 percent of the actual calories that you burn within your training so for example if you burn 200 calories within your high intensity training the lower approximation would be an extra 14 calories burnt post-workout whereas the higher approximation of 14 percent would be 28 calories burnt post-workout now, if you were to burn what I would consider a high number of 500 calories within a high intensity session, the lower approximation would be 35 extra calories burnt post-workout towards the higher end range of 70 calories. Now, instantly, you can see how that is not a huge number. Does it matter? Well, of course it matters because cumulatively, these numbers can add up and contribute towards your caloric deficit for fat loss. But my key point here is, look at some of the articles that you read online or some of the videos that are communicated to you. For example, the last video I made where the gentleman was saying that you can burn 500 to 1,000 extra calories through EPOG. And you can see how these numbers are over-exaggerated to you. Is high-intensity training a great tool? Yes, it absolutely is. I'm not saying it's not. And I know some people will misconstrue what I'm saying. But please understand what is real science and what is not. And the actual caloric burn from post-workout epoch is far less than I believe that is communicated towards you. And so I hope this was a very quick and applicable video for you. I'm James Linker. Thank you for watching. I'll see you soon.